Hi, it's Ian from the Postal Hub Podcast. And Marek from Last Mile Experts. And we are The Last Mile Profits. This is the last word on The Last Mile. This video is created thanks to Modern Expo, one of the key players in the world's parcel locker market. Modern Expo's product portfolio includes innovative solutions with refrigeration and freezing cells, Bluetooth locks, and even personal parcel lockers. Marek, so often we've talked about Amazon's capabilities in the last mile and how, well, Amazon seems to be some sort of a market leader. Well, now it seems that the research backs that up. And we're talking about here this recent poll that named Amazon Logistics the best UK parcel delivery firm, which considering that they've only been delivering parcels in the UK for what, 10 years now? Less than 10, I'd say. Yeah, so uh, replacing last year's winner was DPD Local and DPD UK was up there in the mix as well, second What's the difference between DPD Local and DPD UK? Uh, there used to be two companies. So used to be Parcel, was it Parcel Line, I think? No, I know that that was the, the, the other brand they had was, oh, crumbs. No, I forgot. I've put him on the spot, everybody. You did put me on the spot. Wait a minute. We'll come back to that. We'll look it up later and I'll just put the answer down here. Interlink. We'll Interlink. Interlink. Interlink Express was the, was the local brand and they quite correctly harmonized it. it with one brand. Interlink, yes. Now, this is, let's just find out what's the methodology that. So this is um, a, a survey done by Money Saving Experts, whoever they are. They have an annual poll where they ask users to rate their experience for every parcel delivery firm that they've had over the past 12 months. They had over 9,000 responses. So it's a decent spread of responses there. Marek, is this validation of what you've been saying for ages that Amazon is the industry leader or, or is there something, what, what, what were your immediate thoughts when you read this? Well, first of all, Ian, it's a bit of a battle of the giants because actually the, 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 the guys in the number two slot are very, very good as well. It validates that they're doing a lot of things right to coin an Amazon management principle. And they are indeed. I, I think that to be fair to DPD, Amazon has a few advantages. Namely, something does go wrong, the excellent customer service, the seamless relationship with the customer. So, you know, there is a bit of an unfair advantage. And we also need to say that probably the methodology is, you know, such that it's very hard to say, you know, whether that number one slot is really so yeah. clearly differentiated. Yeah, so, yeah. But the fact I'll, is they are number one. They are. They are. Well, according to this poll, they are. But let's, um, I, I want to just highlight a comment that was made by Dick Stead, our friend over there at Dick Stead, who said, he's, well, he also said he's not wholly convinced by the methodology used in the MSC polls, but he said he calls it the Amazon experience rather than just delivery because of the whole, you know, with Amazon, you have this entire experience from shopping to checkout through to delivery. It's all Amazon rather than sort of the retailer handing off to third-party delivery company. But um, he's also made a comment here. The interesting thing for me is that Amazon in UK do not offer any form of interactive delivery management unless they're using a third-party carrier with those capabilities, nor do they offer any form of delivery time slots for your standard deliveries, obviously. And he said many on this site, he's referring to LinkedIn, I suppose, believe that all carriers need to have IDM capability and offer time slot delivery, yet Amazon Logistics has neither. So is it just that, as Dick suggests, that what they actually, why they succeeded because they deliver as promised? Is that actually more important to I, I think, customers than having control? I think control? it's somewhere in the middle because they do have very good tech competence. And IDM, what is IDM? ITM means you can communicate very freely, freely with a customer. So first of all, they have advantages that carriers don't have. So they have preference data. Um, they ask you what happens if you're not home. Do you have a preferred address? Do you have... Things like you can put preferred times, et cetera, et cetera. Number one. Number two, with your selection of delivery method, you can choose whether you want it faster, slower. And unlike other carriers, when they make a promise, these guys really do everything to keep it. And I'll give you actually a real example. It's not related to the UK. It's, believe it or not, related to Poland. As you know, we had a webinar this week and I realized I'd left my camera in Estepona. Saturday night, I madly scraped through all my old cameras and realized that they were all so antique that they were useless. Clicked the buy button on Amazon on Saturday night, Sunday being a non-working day by law in Poland, and thought, and I needed it for Monday because I had a workshop as well. Couldn't believe it because Amazon said, yeah, it's going to be delivered Monday. And I figured if I'm lucky, end of Monday, so I was still panicking a bit. 8 a.m. Monday morning, guess what arrived at my doorstep? They didn't deliver to a locker? No. In this case, uh, I actually wanted a home delivery for specific reasons. A, I was home and I, I knew I wouldn't even get the chance to get out that day. But I think 
The service is incredible. The interactivity, because interactivity can be an app, but it can also be the fact that they take your preferences, that you see online, you, you go into Amazon anytime, you see what's happening. You get exception reports. Something's wrong. They do let you know. And if something is wrong at point of delivery, even when I was around, I remember that the, that the courier would call the consignee, which is okay, it's, it's low-tech IDM. So I would say it's unfair to say they have no IDM. They're based on what Dick said. I actually thought they had a bit more. They've, they're not at the level of DPD would predict, but hey, the overall experience and the communication with the customer is pretty, pretty good. And you're given that delivery date basically from when you check out. It's not that you're given a range, three to five days, and then they narrow it down as you get closer to it. And that does make a difference to consumers. And, and, and Ian, I remember when I was there, they really pull out all the stops. So even if they're going to pay more for the delivery than the item's worth, they will do that to keep a promise. How many carriers would do that? Just in the time we have left, a quick, quick couple of questions, because out of all of this, if, if you're a UK carrier and you say, well, hang on, I want to improve my rating on this table. And you say, well, I can't control the buying experience the way Amazon does. What can I do to make my delivery experience better somehow in the minds of consumers? And I suppose it's a similar sort of question to e-commerce retailers, but for e-commerce retailers, the question is probably going to be, how can I do that without breaking the bank? Amazon might be able to afford to pay for an emergency express delivery because of its sheer scale and all of those sorts of things that we've talked about previously, whether it, where, where its income comes from and all of that. But if you are just an e-commerce retailer selling scented candles or whatever it is, how can you get that to that level? I mean, I've only got two minutes left, Matic, but well, so, start with the carriers first. I've got a quick answer here. Take a leaf out of DPD's page. With DPD Predict, they're doing pretty much as much as can be done. So you do have that interactivity. You have very, very good options on the fly in terms of what you want to do. The only thing that they could perhaps do more, and that's not an easy one, is to try to integrate more and work more closely with the e-commerce players to influence more what happens when you click. Because that's Amazon's huge advantage. When you click, and you said that, you know the time, because they know the minute you click, they know where that item's located based on your basket. They know how long it's going to take and they have a huge advantage. So I think that's the only thing that e-commerce could do other than having DPD style predict tools is to get even closer to the e-commerce they work with. So e-commerce retailers getting closer to the customer, which of course is something else that Amazon's trying to enable small businesses to do with local stock, selling local stock or locally and all that. Put a link up in that corner or that corner. I can never remember <laughs> to our video on that very topic. Thanks for watching this video on YouTube. Remember to subscribe and then hit the notifications bell. It's the thing shaped like a bell. And that way you'll get a notification whenever we publish a new video on YouTube. Marek, it's a fantastic conversation. Lots of stuff to ponder there. Everybody, please leave your comments below. Let us know what you think on this topic. Are we right or are we really right? <laughs> Is there something we've missed? Well, if you disagree, it's great to have a bit of a discussion. Indeed. Marek Krzyzewski, thank I'll get your name right in a second. I've only said it a billion times. Marek Krzyzewski, thanks for being part of The Last Mile Profits today. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, everybody.